Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome to Music Greatness. This is Urban, and today we're going to break down Easily by Bruno Major. Sounds like this. So for this song we're in the key of F major and here we're going to focus on the intro, so the first 8 measures. We start off by playing G minor 7, that's G and F down on my left hand, B flat, D, and then B flat again for my right hand. So that's my first chord. Then I'm going to play C9. C, E, B flat left hand, D, G, and then D again for my right hand. Coming next, we have an F major position. Alright, so that's octave F on my left hand, D, G, and then C on my right. So notice that we have a 2-5-1 progression at the beginning of the intro. So G, C, and then F. So a 2-5-1 in the key of F major. Right after that, we're going to go to the 6th chord, so D minor. And here we're going to play D minor 7. D, A, left hand, C, F, and A on my right hand. So the seventh is here down on the bottom of my right hand. On C. Then we're going to replay the 2 5 1, so G minor 7, C9. But this time, notice that we don't have the D on top. So only two notes for the right hand D and G. Still having C, E, and B flat on the left hand. Then we're back on the one chord, and this time we're going to use this position. All right, so that's F major. Octave F, A, C, and F. So that's F major in its first inversion. And that's all the chords we got for the first eight measures. So first, G minor seven. C9 with the D on top, going to an F major position to D minor 7. Then again, G minor 7, C9, only having D and G on my right hand, then F major. Now for the details of this intro. We have this melodic approach on D minor 7. All right, so what before playing D minor 7, I played D and B flat with my thumb and fourth finger. Then I played my D minor 7 chord. So notice the melodic movement. I have D going down on C, and I have B flat going down on A. Alright, then coming at the end of this intro, we have this riff. So on our last F major, I'm going to play a grace note from C to D, using my second and third finger, just like this, and I'm going to double the C with F, using my pinky. Alright, so I'm going to play C and F at the same time, 
then play the grist note on D. Then I'm going to go back replaying C and F. I select this. Then I'm going to go down. And here I'm going to have G and C played at the same time with the grace note going from G to A. Like this. And I'm going to play that same movement twice. And on the second time, I'm going to break. Right? Like this. Once again. And for the left hand, when we're going to break, we're simply going to play F and C using the pinky and the second finger. So from F major. Once again. All right, so let's go through the chords again. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four. Six. Now let's do that again at full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Coming right after that, we have the verse that sounds like this. Okay, for this verse, we have first C minor 9, C, G, B flat on my left hand, simply D and G on my right. Then I have F9, octave F, A, C, E flat, and then G on top. So that's F9, then I'm going to go play B major 7, playing B flat and F on my left hand, A, the major 7th, D, and then F on my right hand. Then before going back to C minor 9, I'm going to play this. Alright, so E flat 9, add 13, octave E flat. D flat, F, and then C on top on my right hand. And then on that same chord, I'm going to switch the top note from C to a B flat. Okay, so like this. One more time. Alright, so then I'm going to go back to C minor 9, then F9, 
and then back to B flat major 7. But this time I'm going to stay on B flat major 7 for two measures. Then coming at the very end of the verse, we have a passing chord before the chorus start, and this passing chord is D7 over G flat. So on my left hand I have G flat and C. So I'm playing the tritone. My right hand plays D major. Okay, so D, G flat, A, and then D on top. going to play that right before the chorus. Now a quick recap for the verse, we have C minor 9 going to F9. And notice that here on F9, before going to B flat major 7, I'm going to add this on my right hand. C, E flat, and A. Right, so first I was playing F9 and then adding C, E flat and A on my right hand. I simply have F7. I'm going to do that every time I play my F9 chord. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I have B flat major seven. Going to E flat 9 at 13. Don't forget to switch to the top note. Then back at C minor 9, F9, F7, and B flat major 7. Resting there for two measures. And also at the end of the verse, we have the passing chord before the chorus, D7 over G flat. Now let's play it back at a slow pace. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 I forgot to mention the break on B flat major 7. Right, on the second time playing the pattern, on the second measure, on the first beat, we're going to break on B flat major 7, and then on the fourth beat, that's when we're going to play our passing chord. Right, so D7 over G flat. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six. Then we play the chorus. Alright, now let's do that again at full speed. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, 
And that's it for this first part. If you want to learn the rest of the song, you can head over to musicgreatness.com where I'll teach you the chorus and also the ending. As always guys, thank you for watching. If you love the content, leave a like, leave a comment and also don't forget to subscribe. Until then, see you next week for another Ubin.